exactly why you were chosen for this award? Do you know? I mean, uh, for being just like extraordinary, like extraordinary. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely extraordinary. Anybody else who was chosen for something other than also being extraordinary? Anybody? It's, you know, it's a difficult thing to kind of grasp this concept of citizenship, right? Because, oh, I'm sorry. Did you say, what, do you know why you were chosen? Citizenship, absolutely. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit different of an award, right? If we were talking about academic achievement, you know that if you get good grades, you could get an academic award, correct? But a citizenship award is a little bit different because it's not something that you achieve, it's who you are, right? It's your characteristics and your trait. And I think it's so exciting to be in a room filled with so many people who are recognized for those specific traits. When we presented these awards at your school, and also Phil just now had, had shared that, you know, we shared that these awards are earned by demonstrating you know, good decision making, being kind and trustworthy, showing respect for others and yourself, serving others, and always doing your best. And those characteristics make you very special. In fact, they do make you extraordinary. And you were chosen for this, for choosing to do this once or once in a while or just on special occasions. You were chosen for this award because you demonstrate good citizenship every day. It's part of who you are and I commend you for that. And I also commend your families for encouraging and developing, developing those qualities as well. It's so important, not only in our families and in our schools, but in our neighborhoods and in our communities. It's, it's, in, it's a very important thing that we pay attention to. So I teach at the University of Laverne, and I've been teaching in a program that deals with leadership and management. And so there's one thing that I know after studying and teaching this for 25 years now, um, not every one of us sets out to be a leader, but at some point, every one of us is called to lead something, whether that's a game or at work or in the family or on a special project or service project, we're all called to lead something at some point in our lives. And the best leaders are the ones who set an example, who lead by doing, by showing you the example that you need to follow. And by being good citizens, you are setting the example for other people to follow as well. You're leading the way to better families, better schools, better neighborhoods, and better communities. So how do we continue to be good citizens when we're not in the classroom or later on in life? And this is something I struggled with a couple years ago myself. So I was disappointed with our elected leaders, or not all of them. Um, um, and, um, and the people in my community who were choosing sides and they were trying to cancel people who didn't agree with their position. And that really discouraged me and, and I thought, okay, how can I avoid all of that behavior, all of that, all the things that divide us? And how can I contribute to something positive in my community? And believe it or not, it started out with me picking up trash in my neighborhood. I wanted my neighborhood to look better. So on Monday morning, before the trash truck came, I would set out with a bag, and in the four blocks in my little neighborhood, I would pick up a full bag of trash every Monday. And people started to notice what I was doing. And then I would notice that as I was walking, people would run out and pick up the trash in front of their house and put it in their trash can. And they'd also wave and say hi. And so now when I go out, I have new friends that I wave to every week. But also, I only pick up the smallest amount, not even a quarter of a bag of trash, because those simple actions have encouraged other people to do the same. So then I thought, well, could I have more impact? Is there more things that I could do? Because that was really simple. And you know, everyone thinks that to make change or to be a positive influence in your community, that it takes either money or time or it takes a title. And I'm here to tell you that it doesn't, that we make a change in our communities by being good people and doing good things and being kind to others. So I learned that I could say, collect my grocery bags and bring them to a, a food bank who needed them when they distribute food, they need bags. That was simple to do. Old blankets and towels I could bring to the animal shelter. And then I looked within my own family and I have a sister who has some problems with um, her eyes and with reading. 
So I started ordering books that I thought we both would like, and I spend about 15 minutes every day reading a chapter from a book, and so we're both getting to enjoy, enjoy not only time together, but these great books. Those very simple things are the things that make a difference in the world. So outside of that, I just wanna share one last little story with you. And it's about a village. And this village was in the middle of a very, very terrible drought. Not as, we're not quite there yet, although we're having some water issues, but it was bad. And there was very little water for their crops or to tend to their animals. And they were very concerned about their survival. So they went to their spiritual leader in town. It was a monk. And they asked her, they begged her, will you please pray for rain? We need rain so bad. And so she said, okay you join me in the field tomorrow and we will pray for rain and if your faith is strong enough there will be rain so the next day they all make their way to the field and the monk goes out there and she finds this rock and she stands on the rock and she's overlooking this crowd of people and she's concerned that maybe their faith isn't strong enough and then all of a sudden they um she looks out and she sees this young man in the very back and all of a sudden she just knew she jumped down off the rock and she started having to make her way wading through the people in the crowd and when she reached him she opened her arms and she embraced him and she began to weep and suddenly it started to rain and it didn't just rain it was pouring rain and everyone was getting soaked except for that young man and the monk because the young man brought an umbrella he believed that things could be better and his faith made a difference for his whole community and so it doesn't matter how whole, how old or young we are it doesn't matter how grand or small our actions are we set an example we are the leaders in our community who go out and make a difference with all of our actions all we have to do is show up believe in the goodness of other people and be that example every day. And we will have communities that are better, kinder, stronger, and more joyful. And I have faith in you as good citizens to make that change for our communities and inspire those around you. So thank you so much for all you do in your own schools and in your homes and in your neighborhoods. And um, it's because of you that I have faith for the future. So congratulations. Thank you.